to go. All right, let's talk weather now. We mentioned sun because it's really been quite nice all day, and we would like more of that, and it's pretty mild. I think people shouldn't be complaining. Oh, upper 40s, that's mild? You're lowering your standards now? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes. All right, well, I mean, yeah, we can we take the mild temperatures while we can. We have more of that coming for your Friday as well. Now, things are going to be switching up for us when it comes to rain chances for your Easter weekend. Not a complete washout, but we have a little bit more updates when it comes to the intensity of the rain and the timeline of it. Currently, we're tracking those mild temperatures, upper 40s from the county airport. I'll call it mid 40s, 45 degrees, 47 down in Akron, Dover right now, 50 degrees with a west wind around 5 to 10 miles an hour. So all across the Buckeye State, it's milder the further south you are. And here's why. We have a uh, frontal boundary that's pretty much bisecting throughout the Midwest, and that's going to be the focal point of more light shower development as we head deeper into the evening. It's going to give us more clouds, but down to the south and west of the metro, we could see a passing shower too, but it's mainly going to be a light event for most of central Ohio. This is midnight tonight going throughout time. Most of this is going to be zipping out of here. Waking up with clear skies. This is Friday morning, 8 o'clock throughout the morning. Early afternoon, things are looking good. High pressure is in dominant control, but do not get used to that. Clouds are going to be building as we wrap up Friday evening. This is 10 o'clock. Friday is looking good. Then by Saturday, we're going to introduce more clouds. That's going to translate to more shower chances throughout your weekend. So clouds for tonight, partly cloudy skies, temperatures cooling into the lower 30s, 32 degrees around 31. We get those clouds out of here by the rush hour drive. Then around noon, 1, 2, and 3 o'clock, we climb into the upper 40s. I'm calling a high of around 50, 51 degrees around 3 and 4 o'clock. I'll take that. That's looking good. Now let's talk about your weekend. Yeah, we do have rain on the way, and Saturday appears to be the wettest day. So if you have any outdoor activities, Easter egg hunts, or just hanging out with the family and friends, I mean, it's going to be a wet one and just scattered chances of that. Then Sunday appears to be more drier than more evening Shower chances will be a part of the picture as well. So let's take things hourly with your National Design Mart hourly forecast. This is a daybreak Saturday going throughout the morning. Widespread rain chances, heavy rain at times throughout the midday. This is 10, 11. We'll catch a break. So not a complete washout again for your Saturday afternoon with a southwest wind. Showers, maybe a few rumbles of thunder with this Saturday afternoon. Then as we get closer to Sunday, we're drying out with a north breeze and temperatures. They're going to be budging in the upper 40s all the way into the lower 50s, but clouds are going to be sticking around through most of your Easter Sunday. 55 for a high, lower 60s, more chances of showers and thunderstorms by Monday and Tuesday. We'll have more details when it comes to that extended forecast because it's appearing to be more active, more spring showers. They're going to be rolling in. Don't forget about those uh, wet snowflakes tail into my uh, seven day as well. So oh, active, very active, not as warm as we oh. want. Oh, OK. <laughs> I it's pulled my driveway away. stakes out today. Yeah. yeah. So the plow driver doesn't go through my yard. And every year, as soon as I do that, it snows after that. Uh, April it. snow. So All right. Anthony, thank you. Mm -hmm.